because he needs the chair. What do you have? That's a big truck for 105000 right? No, that's the utility. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Pat, last Friday's holiday. Hi. Hi, Maggie. Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. And of course, you back up, huh? Got more of your cup of warm. I said that had to be more of your cup of warm. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was fine. Uh, I got the decision. Yeah, I got the decision. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. the record decision. Okay. I see we're in Rotary here. Oh, oh they had you the decision. Well, I'm sorry, we didn't have that big pack. I do. Yeah, it was the budget, so I thought, well, that's no, I asked him to. I'm good with it. I like it better than the other. But I was like, I'm not sure. Okay, folks, welcome to our December meeting, last of the year. And uh, if you'd all please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance at the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, the Thank you. Please be seated. Town Clerk Greer, would you please take roll call? Okay. Michael Ferrara. Here. Tony Senecrovi. Here. Steve Churchill. Here. Don Dyson. Here. Caitlin Luskaski. Here. We have a call. Thank you. Uh, just a couple of up updates before we go into the agenda. Uh, certainly on behalf of the town board, uh, we'd like to wish you folks and all the people of Seneca Falls a happy holiday season as we get started for uh, a really nice weekend coming up in Seneca Falls, one of the light weekend. Hopefully everyone will be able to uh, participate in some part of the <coughs> ceremony. It's kind of a neat thing. Um, Monday at 9 o'clock is the kickoff ceremony at, this, at the museum. Uh, I'll be doing a proclamation uh, from on behalf of the town board uh, proclaiming a proclamation for Carolyn Grimes, who's attended um, Seneca Falls for the past 20 years. And there's going to be a time capsule that's been facilitated by the committee, uh, the museum, I should say, and uh, a copy of that proclamation will go into the time capsule. So, uh, Mike, excuse yes, me. What, what day did you say you said Monday? If I said Monday, I meant Friday. Oh, okay. Friday at 9 o'clock. I'm, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was going to say, do you missed it? No, it would be all over. Uh, 
as I said previously, the Huntington Building uh, construction or project has started. Uh, they've done some water uh, stuff and they're, they're beginning that. Uh, there's going to be a uh, groundbreaking ceremony there on January 10th at 11 o'clock if anybody's interested in attending that. Uh, bids are due on our equalization tank on January 5th. Uh, this is the project that's been in the works and we're finally going out to bid with that and uh, ground will be broken hopefully very soon after the bids are received uh, to replace the, that situation at the waste treatment plant. Um, we've had a, uh, a, a employee resignation that, that uh, um, put us in a situation uh, that employee moved on to uh, uh, a different, uh, different municipality and uh, we'll be acting on Sarah's uh, resignation tonight. Uh, but uh, we were in a difficult situation. I just want to uh, thank and recognize uh, Peter here to my right. Uh, I can honestly say um, if we didn't have a town manager in place, uh, things would have been extremely bad. Uh, they were difficult, but would have been extremely bad. Uh, Peter picked up a lot of things uh, that was being done from that office. And I need to thank Deb Warple, uh, who retired April 1st. And uh, I made a phone call, and she agreed to come back. And she's helping out as much as possible. Uh, but she's been a tremendous help over the last three weeks, um, getting things to where they should be. Uh, she works part time, but she's here on Mondays and Fridays all day. And she comes in the morning on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for a few hours. And, uh, we're getting things caught up to where they're supposed to be. And uh, so, again, I want to publicly thank Bev and Peter for that. Uh, let's see. We're uh, just, uh, I sent an email out to the board members uh, just to give you an FYI, but uh, we have sent in uh, through MRV uh, a letter of intent uh, with uh, Restore New York grant. Uh, the Women's Hall of Fame came uh, to us and asked if we would partner. Uh, you have with the Restore New York grant, uh, it has to be the municipality involved uh, with the actual grant application. So uh, MRB is determining uh, if it will be a viable application. Uh, if it is, I'll be in touch. We'll make a, a resolution uh, and that will happen in January type of thing. It is time sensitive. But uh, as, as I said, we're just trying to feel it out and see if it's uh, on behalf of the Hall of Fame, if it's a viable project. If it's not, we're not going to make an application for it type of thing. But they would like, uh, they're looking for $2.5 million, I believe, for renovations on the third and fourth floor uh, to finalize the entire project. I'll keep you posted. Um, Leeson has provided everyone with uh, some information about the gravel road uh, sewer line. And uh, if you have any questions that I would like to move in some direction, either yay or nay, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to let the consequences be what the consequences are. Or are we looking to uh, invest some money in that sewer line and so forth? So, Anybody have any questions for Lisa based on what she sent out as far as um, the information about the gravity fed line and the one that uh, town board <coughs> member Churchill was inquiring about uh, an alternative? I, I have a question. I know you answered my questions, but I was just confused on one. B. So it's $200 a linear foot for the one that's the gravity flow. So. It isn't the pipe that costs an extra hundred and forty dollars. Just because that's eight inches versus three, those other five inches cost a hundred and forty dollars a foot. Well, it, it has to do with just the insulation, the way it's so. The cost estimate there is to furnish and install. So it's not only just the cost of the pipe; it's also the installation of the gravity beam, which is manual manual connections. Oh, okay. 
Um, it's not just laying that force mean, which is the three inch force mean. I can definitely get you more details about the yeah. specifics. Those, Those are not full. No, I'm good with it. That okay. includes digging and stone and everything to 200, right? The stone and whatnot, the digging is a separate line item. Oh. And that was line item five. So that's the same on alternatives one and two because you'd be digging the same length oh, for those two options. Yeah, when you uh, sent me back the thing that said line item five, I'm looking all over for, I thought it meant proposal five, I couldn't figure oh, it. Oh, yes, so yeah, so item good. five here, yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Digging is digging, it costs the same. Yeah. Yeah. However you dig. Yeah. And this, the way, the way that this was broken up. And yeah. in some cost estimates, it might all be lumped together, but we pulled that apart okay. for the purpose of comparison. Yeah. I thought the cost estimates for the Essentially, the E1 grinder pump solution seem uh, awful high. Uh, I'd like to have somebody, like a representative from that company, come in and actually throw some proposal. Uh, look at this situation. The other thing I'd like to see is some uh, some maps. I don't know what houses we're talking. I mean, I live on the road. And I don't have. A, I, I kind of have a clue because they were doing a lot of digging across the street. But I don't know what houses are entailed. I don't know where the uh, the manholes are that we're going to be tying into. I know the one on Gravel Road. I don't know the one on, or I know the one on River Lane because they just put that in a couple of years ago. I don't know the yeah. one on Gravel Road. I'd like to see some imagery. Yeah. The picture to me is worth a thousand words. Um, and I'd really like to have somebody come in because I did look at, at putting in an E1 connection potentially from my house to River Lane, and it would have been, you know, the. the, the you know, it's a two-inch pipe that doesn't, it's not gravity, doesn't have to be level, it's just a two-inch pipe that had to get to that uh, manhole. Yeah. Um, and the expense of the pit and the grinder pump, as I recall, was a few thousand dollars to me, and then the running of that line. I mean, I chose not to do it at the time, but, uh, uh, you know, and then I saw on your, your was $16,000 to each of the homeowners, and I thought, well, I don't know where all that money's coming. Yeah, so that did include, and I'm not sure if your cost estimate did, but it did include an electrical connection um, for the grinder pump. So yep. there has to be some sort of electrical component. So that yeah, was 16K. That's a lot higher than what I was looking at a few years ago. Yeah, so the pump itself was is running right around 6,000. And then we had additional numbers in there, like I said, but the electrical connection was about the same as the pump itself, based Six on grand. current estimates we've seen. Um, and we can definitely provide those helpful. Um, we also had the demolition of the septic system included in that cost as well. So that was around $2,000. We could take that out, of course. Yeah, but so this was just to kind of give you an idea of what the expectation all right. would be. So, so I'd like to see a, a map. Yep, definitely. We have something we can uh, send over shortly. Thank you. You're saying $16,000 it'll cost a homeowner, but you're saying they can pay over time? Is that what you're saying? So that was not anything that we made a decision on. It would be an expected additional cost for the homeowner to install that grinder pump and connect it to the low pressure sewer if that's what was chosen to be installed. How it would be paid for would be a discussion for the board. Um, typically, if homeowners tie into an existing sewer, the cost on their property to connect into that clean out and the lateral that's to the public sewer, the town sewer, is a separate cost to that property owner. That, that, that would be, would, the 16,000 would be if the town did not fund the project, okay? Um, so how much will it be for the homeowners if the town does fund the project? Then they would have to pay for the lateral pickup from their house. But how much would the, that be? I don't know. Joe, do you know what the lateral pickup typically costs these days? No? I, I don't know, Don, I really don't. I don't listen. It's probably different in every community. I, I don't know what, what that costs. A lateral well, well, normally, it's not crazy, I know that, but it's, I don't know what it costs. Yeah, no, normally a sewer district, I mean, I guess this is a small sewer district, right, is agreed upon, has to be agreed upon by the, the folks that are going to be joining that because they could opt to put in a, it, currently they could opt to just go back to their leach field. Um, Steve, this would be an extension of the sewer within a district. So Correct, it, but so that, the extension of the sewer uh, would, would still constitute that the district, the people that it's are- It's still something you would want to talk to the individual. Correct, and they would need to approve forward. that. And then typically it's paid for over time by your sewer bill. 
I mean, that's why a sewer district typically right. works. Right, by, by, those, by those people that are affected by it. Right. So in this case, it really kind of has to be its own district because you're not going to ask the entire district to cover the cost. Right, we can limit it to the people who are right. being uh, connected to it. Yes. Right. So, you know, going forward, those folks are going to need to become part of this conversation as well. It's, it's not as straightforward as just... Okay. All right, the ways to review? Yep, we'll Thank pass you. over. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we don't have any petitioners signed up this evening. Is anybody uh, looking uh, to participate in the privilege of the floor? Me. <laughs> You're lucky tonight. <laughs> Hello everyone. I know this seems kind of unusual you for a board member. your name and your address. Oh, <laughs> Frank Center Pulpy, 2423 Lower Lake Road. For the right. yeah. I know this seems unusual for a board member to address the board, but I see no other venue on the agenda for me to do so. I'm going to speak about New York State Civil Service Law and the hiring situation and the Seneca Falls police officers. In case no one, anyone, if not aware, there is a valid police officer list at the county consisting of 10 names of persons who have passed the written test and the physical agility test, three of which are in basic school. There is one name in basic school who was appointed off a previous list, so that makes four people in basic school. Um, with these 10 names or persons, you can fill eight positions for deputy sheriff or police officers. Now, if you don't like the candidates after the background check and you don't hire that person, the person in question does not come off the list. And let me say it again. Let me repeat, the person does not come off the list. Only persons under Section 50 of the Civil Service Law can be removed from the list by the following outlined procedures. This information, oh, that, that is informing the personnel officer in writing with the official information found confronting section 50 of the law, and then it will be investigated by the uh, local personnel department. I get tired of persons blaming state civil service law, the county official in charge of civil service, the town, and whoever for the way the law is currently written. Those persons who are chiefs of police, which there are at least 250 or more in the state, and sheriffs who there are at least 52, to go to your organization and get your members behind change of the civil service law. That will make your job easier when it comes to civil service law and petition the state recommending recommend, or representatives to make the changes. There are 10 persons on the list. You must use the list. The safeguard for you is a probationary period for police of not less than eight or more than 52 weeks. A person not working out in a probationary period could be let go at any time after the eight weeks. The new list is not going to be here for another 10 months. And who is to say the persons taking the test and passing all the parts are going to be to your satisfaction? You may be in a similar situation. You're stuck with the list in this situation and not filling the position because you don't care for the person leaves you in an unfilled position and that's your choice. I suggest two, two things. One, you ask the personnel officer to canvas the list to see who is still interested in working for the Seneca Falls Police Department. <coughs> and two, given the idea about hiring persons from other agencies with the incentive package, I think that is a, a viable option. And it certainly is going to cost less than uh, sending a person to training the 20000 These are the facts with this matter. P.S. P.S. The last request for a list was in April of 2022. When the list is exhausted, you can hire a provisional that comes with some challenges. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else have a petition on the floor? Okay. 
We have a motion to approve the minutes from the public hearing of November 1st, 2022. I'll make a motion. Thank you. Got a second, please? Second. Discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? And can I have a motion to approve the special or the minutes from uh, special meeting November 1st, 2022? I make a motion. Thank you. Any, uh, I have a second, please? A second. Thank you. Any discussion or question? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. That's carried. Uh, there's uh, seven communications that were submitted by uh, Town Clerk Greer uh, for your review. There is no items under old business. Under new business, uh, there's some special events that need approval. Uh, I think the one only is uh, for dropping of the ball on New Year's Eve. Uh, this was a late arrival, uh, but this is handed it in uh, late Friday. Um, make a motion we approve the. Caitlin made a motion. Oh, Caitlin did. Second. Okay. okay. Couldn't hear it. I'm sorry. All in favor of uh, approving that special event, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Thank you. Uh, we need to set a date for the year end meeting. Uh, if you could grab your calendars, uh, we have to pay the bills and uh, finish the year out type of thing. I was hoping, being selfish that I am, um, I was hoping Tuesday the I was hoping Tuesday the 27th. At what time? We can do it at lunch and it's uh, at 12 o'clock. It, it goes very quick. It, uh, That'll work. That work. It's mostly to pay the bills at all. Pardon me? It's just mostly to pay right. the bills. And we, do we have to do anything with the tax roll to the county? It's on the agenda. No, but I mean late, late in the month or no? Hopefully, uh, hopefully Nick will have the taxes by that date. I think that so. we were looking. Uh, we have a county board meeting that night, so the twenty seventh. Yeah. So I was hoping if we could do it at noon, if that's possible. It'll be okay. quick. Pardon? It'll be quick. Yeah. yeah. Should be. Okay, work for you, Steve. Yep. Okay, so Nikki, uh, okay. December twenty seventh, twelve o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, I'll check on the availability of this room. If this is not available, we'll meet at the community center. But I'll allow <coughs> that ASAP. Well, it's three meetings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> and reorganizational meeting uh, is usually the first Tuesday of the month. So if no one has no issues, that. Tuesday, January 3rd, will be our reorganizational meeting, and uh, we would then officially as, uh, establish that the first Tuesday of the month would be uh, the regular town board meeting uh, moving forward. Any issues there? Is it at 6 o'clock again? It'll be 6 o'clock, yeah. Okay. Nikki or Pat, do I need a motion for approving it? I need a motion. January That's January. a regular monthly meeting. Uh, we would do that, don't we? We do that on that day. To do the reorganization, yeah. 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 Okay. but you don't need to do anything special. That's the normal. Okay. Normal meeting time. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, I have a motion to accept, uh, with regret, uh, Sergeant Sebastian Gentile's resignation. Uh, it was effective uh, November 27, 2022. A motion for that, please. I make a motion. And a second. I'll second. Any questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, again, on behalf of the uh, Seneca Falls Town Board and the people of Seneca Falls, we wish uh, Sergeant Gentile the best of luck in his future occupation working with the Geneva Police Department. Uh, I have a motion to uh, levy these uh, delinquent water bill accounts. Uh, that will be then put on the tax bill. This will be sent over to the uh, sent over to the county. I make a motion. Thank you. Have a second, second for that, please. Okay. Any questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed?
I have a motion here uh, to uh, advertise for the purchase of an F650 dump truck uh, where the water and sewer department is. I make a motion we buy the truck. A motion to have a second, please. Um, any discussion or any questions for Joe? This was uh, something that we budgeted uh, for 2023. Uh, the paperwork is uh, connected there, yeah. as you can see. Hold up, uh, Mike. This was budgeted for 2022. 2022. And the, the board actually right. tried to authorize purchasing in January, and uh, the truck was not available <coughs> to be delivered. So Joe went out and, and, and James went out and found an actual truck rather than specifications for a truck and uh, found the actual truck and this is a, a resolution to purchase the actual truck <coughs> right off the lot than to order one to be built. You're 100 percent correct. We got the same problem in the highway department too with yeah. the backlogs on orders and so forth. Budgeted money. But so this keeps it within material. the budget within the budget year right. 2022. Okay. Uh, any other questions? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? So carried. Uh, I have a resolution here to declare 2013. I hope it's ever 21. I'm confused. 2003 F15 surplus. This year's show? 2013. 2013? Where are you? Just a little typo. Hi. 2013. Uh, we're declare surplus 2013 F15. F150. F150 or 50. Uh, whereas the town board authorized purchase of utility body F250 at November meeting and whereas said pickup has been delivered. So moved. Thank you. Have a second, please. Second. Thank you. Any questions or discussion? And again, uh, goes on auctions international, and then when we get paid, it goes back into equipment fund. Equipment fund. Did I miss G? Yep. No, he missed F and G. You missed F and G. What did I miss? F and G. Yes. Advertise for bids for the heavy equipment rental. Is there paperwork on that? No. I have to. Make that no, we did that. Okay. No, we okay. didn't do that. No. Okay. All right. So let, uh, uh, we got a motion and a second for surplus. And all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. So uh, I have no motion. I don't have any paperwork. You're saying so. I got to advertise. Motion to advertise for annual heavy equipment rental. Okay. Have a second for that. Okay. I don't know where this is coming. Where's this coming from? You? This is. It's, it's yearly. Every year we've had to go out and bid. Uh, we lost a uh, pipe as a contractor for our paving. Um, so that's another reason why it's got to go out. So we can find who's going to be doing our paving and a lot of our heavy, heavy equipment operator stuff. Okay, but there is some paperwork that goes along with this bidding yes. process. Yes. Yes. You have that paperwork? I don't have the paperwork. That from what my understanding is, the people who are going to bid into this, they come to the town, you get the paper, they, they fill it out, they have to do a proof. Okay, them. Jim used to, he had that on his computer, if you find it, you know, bring it in so that I can copy it off, if not, I have to go by last year's, Okay. and I have to I say the type only thing it all I, off. The only thing I found but is there is a bid. I specs. thought there was, but even for the tree removal too. Yes, there is. Yes, that's for yeah, the bids for that as well. The one thing I, that I've seen without calling Jimmy is I've seen last year's and years before his bids. Okay. I, I found, well, I didn't find that. Jimmy, I'm sure, will be able to point it out yeah. for you. Okay. Right. All right. And, but before anything happens, yep. it needs to go through that gentleman right there. Okay. Okay. All he right. has to review it okay. to make sure it lines up with our procurement policy. All right. Yeah. Okay. And this is, and well, this is, and this is. Done every year. So we can uh, recycle something and get this get this in, in place. And but this is a uh, uh, requires you know, advertising, and, and we can open the bids at the next meeting. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all in favor of that, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? 
So carried. Uh, can I have a motion to advertise for bids for tree, tree and stump removal for 2023? I'll make a motion. Thank you. Second? I'll second it. Okay. Same thing. Yes. Any questions or concerns? Uh, basically, once we put it out to bid and we ask interested parties, uh, then uh, whoever gets it, when we have to have a tree removed, we call that contract. Mm -hmm. Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. Okay. So I'm on letter J, right? Yep. Right. Right. Uh, can I have a motion to accept the retirement of uh, highway super or highway employee? I make, I make a motion to accept the still designation. Thank you. Second. Any questions? Again, with regret. Uh, Approve his retirement. Wish him the best of luck as well. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. Uh, can I have a motion to accept the, res the resign yeah, resignation for retirement purposes for the Honorable Judge uh, Laverne Laffer? I second it. Thank you. Um, all in favor, please say aye. Is there going to be any discussion? We, we can have, yes. Oh, okay. I, uh, I just want to know the yeah, person. Yeah, oh. go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, if, you know, obviously that position, I know the procedure on all these other positions. I, I'm just curious on the procedure for an elected job. Right. So I, I've talked to the courts, uh, the secretary for the regional area. Uh, <clears throat> before anybody's appointed, that's what I was going to bring up at this point. Uh, but anyway, before uh, anybody's appointed, uh, they have to go through school. And the school is offered twice a year. Uh, it's offered right now, I think, this week, and again in April. Uh, the only way to circumvent that requirement is if a lawyer, uh, a practicing lawyer uh, in New York State, like Attorney Morrell, you interested in the position? <laughs> no. Uh, if the, uh, then, you don't have that person doesn't have to go to school. They can take the bench, blah blah blah. So the board's going to have to make a decision uh, whether a uh, you want to appoint somebody in April so that we can get well, it would be quicker, it'd be in March to get that person set up to go to school, or if you want to wait to the general election in November uh, and proceed that way. In the interim, uh, the district court would try to cover uh, current, current Judge Lapper's current schedule. There's no guarantee that that would get covered, but that's the attempt they would try to make. So the next school is in March, you're saying? Or next school is in April. We next would have to appoint April. somebody in January, February, or March. So they could go to the school in April. Gotcha. And basically I would reach out to uh, the local Democrat party, the local Republican party, Ask them if they had any candidates uh, interested and in et cetera, et cetera. And then we could appoint, and that person would be appointed uh, for the rest of the year, uh, April through December. And then you would have a general election in November of. <coughs> okay, thanks. Okay. So, uh, any other questions? All in favor of accepting his retirement resignation, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Uh, I, again, I'd like to personally thank uh, Judge Lappler uh, for his many, many, many years of service to Seneca Falls, uh, not only as a police officer, uh, five years on the, on the court uh, bench, uh, and he also served the people of Seneca Falls as an at-large uh, supervisor at the county level, I think, for 14 years. So certainly, uh, Judge Lappler has dedicated himself to public service. Uh, with that, I'm open to suggestions or thoughts on how you want to proceed. With what, the judge? Yes, either appoint somebody uh, in April or appoint somebody soon or wait for the general election. Well, what was this caseload? I mean, I've <coughs> we can't appoint anybody. Kaylin, Don, you know, I mean, I don't know. Uh, Judge Lafferty did day court. Um, I, I depends on how much 
how much crime's going out there. I don't know. But we also got I don't know. Like you said, we have to wait for somebody to go to the school for a point. Yep. That's April. Yep. So, so why don't we wait a while to see if anybody comes forward once they be the judge? Well, my experience with this, they're probably not going to come forward to the town board. They're going to go come forward to the local Republican Party or the local Democrat Party and tell the party chairperson that uh -huh. they would like to be their interest. That's, that's how that would work. It, it'll trickle into the board somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. If somebody's interested. All right, so we don't have to make a decision tonight. Think about it. Let Maybe me know. It's worth a conversation with the seventh judicial to find out. I'm sorry. If it's worth a conversation with the seventh judicial to figure out whether or not there's any current magistrates willing to, to fill in for the time being. They're, they had no. Uh, I mean, Judge Guy, I believe. It would be, you know. It would be somebody would fill in type of thing. Well, I understand that. Part. Off of their schedule, off their regular schedule. Right. Yeah. No, she's. I'm she's, just kidding. I mean, I want to just figure out different options and find out, you know, based on those options, which one is the best one to go with. Well, she said that there's no guarantee that you're going to get everything covered. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if it became a busy agenda locally in that district, uh, mm -hmm. then, you know, you might be in trouble with them. Right. You know, depends. Okay, uh, let me, uh, well, you guys think about it, and maybe in January we can uh, come up with some thought on a decision. Well, I, I expect that under the new chief of police that the crime ought to be way down. So I would think. <laughs> January 1st, I'll start. <laughs> okay, uh, I have a resolution here establishing fees related to short-term rentals and providing for an effective date. <laughs> Uh, we're I make a motion we do the short term rental. Okay, have a second for that. I'll second. Thank you. Uh, questions for Peter? I'd like to uh, comment on that. Um, right now, there's 351 short term rental. I got this from Granick this morning. Um, 350 short, 351 short term rentals. Mm -hmm. Is that false? No, in Seneca County. Oh, Seneca. This is County. Okay. okay, all right. Yeah. Because we're only interested in Seneca. Yeah. yeah, but eight, eight, there's been eight new uh, rentals posted in the last 30 days. And there's 533 all listing short and long term rentals. And there's uh, 79 right now that we figure are not compliant or try to go after the county is to make them compliant. So that's where they stand. And I talked to Peter just before the meeting. He gave me the sheet. I asked him if he'd uh, talk to Les because in the last four months, Les and I have been developing a registration letter. Instead of the places having to fill out two, maybe one letter, and that either, if the county sends it out or the town, then we could share it. Uh, you know, people get mad when they got to fill out a lot of government paperwork. Mm -hmm. So. I, Ask Peter if he would talk to Les. He said he would. Is well, that right? Does the county have fees? No. The county no, doesn't have fees. No, we got three percent room tax. That's it. All right. And do we have any idea of how many short-term rentals are in town of Santa Claus? Because well, I mean, we, yeah. essentially, for the most part, you're talking about lower lake rentals. Today, I uh, had a Zoom meeting with the, the same company the county uses, and it, we have sixty plus just in Santa Claus. Sixty plus short-term yes. rentals. Yes. Uh, in Seneca Falls. Peter, your philosophy behind this resolution is that you don't think, based on what's required, we're, we're not charging, when in comparison, we're not charging what other communities are charging? You're saying we're not, you don't think? We're charging too much, or no? I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not oh, saying. Just asking Mark. I'm asking you. Oh. The rationale. Yeah. So looking at other municipalities and what they charge, it's close, <coughs> close to that. Um, they do it different ways. Some will charge an initial fee, and then years after that, they'll charge less. Um, some will charge an application fee plus the yearly fee. Um, and then again, in my meeting today, they said that our, you know, the, what I suggested was reasonable. Do most of the towns in the, the county charge, you know, have these fees? You know, Varick and Fayette. 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 Fayette, Waterloo has them. Mm -hmm. Waterloo is $250, I thought, someplace down there, yeah. Okay. 
But uh, Romulus, Ovid, Interlaken, or Lodi. The only two that I found the water wouldn't uh, bear. Yeah. Gee, I'm surprised we have six. Other questions? Barrick has got like 65 Barrick alone. Well, we have no more questions. Uh, we have a motion by Caitlin. Did you make the motion or no? Second. 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 Right. 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 And seconded right. by. Well, there are people who have Airbnbs right. on Miller Street. All in, uh, all in favor of the motion and second, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. Yeah. Believe it or not. Really? Yeah. What do you want to think about? We had some relatives. Got a nice view of the canal. <laughs> I have a resolution here: change uh, salary for water and sewer labor position. Uh, whereas the town of Seneca Falls developed and utilized the standard matrix to establish employee salaries, whereas employees of the town have been identified as being paid below the matrix, whereas the position. What motion we uh, proceed with that salary adjustment? Okay, and second for that. No second. Second. Okay. Are there any others? Uh, there's just one person. Are, they, uh, I mean, are we going to come at us one at a time like Jeremiah Johnson and the Indians? No, no, no. We, we put them all in the budget. This one here was just for This one wasn't there. So it was talked about in right. the budget prep. I'm going to make a big note on that. All right. Yeah. Hey, Mike, you skipped them. Um, Pardon? You skipped them. Um, you're telling me. You're telling me I skipped a letter and you came in 15 minutes late? <laughs> you, sure I you sure I didn't do M before you got here? I'll get back to it, Jeremy. I'd like to see if everybody's on their toes. Uh, okay. All right. I'm, I go by the pile as it comes out of the pile. That's what I do. I've got a bad habit. Of that. Okay. Uh, we have a, a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. All right, I skipped down. Highway resolution, advertised from your white position. Yeah. Yeah, no, I got that. But this, this uh, M, I don't see a... I don't see a resolution. No, there isn't a resolution. There is no resolution. I thought there was a resolution. I gave you a chance. You gave me one that was wrong, and I said you had to correct it. I did. I gave it to you at lunchtime yesterday. Yes. All right, I make a motion we advertise for a light MEO position. So okay, uh, we have a motion to advertise for a light MEO position. And a second, please. Second. Thank you. Uh, this is to cover the retirement for Donovan Stillwell. Okay, it's not adding a position. Uh, this is to cover that. Uh, we're looking for a light MEO uh, so that some of the other people might move on if they're qualified to a heavy MEO. Right. And then, yes, Steve, if somebody who currently works for the highway department goes from light to heavy, obviously that's a step in salary. So you might get something back here that related to that. You know what I'm saying? It's a different level on the major level. Yeah. 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 That's okay. So this is not this is not approving the actual person. This is just approving we go out to civil service after we all got our civil service lesson earlier tonight, uh, we go out to civil service and uh, advertise for the position. So is this creating, so this isn't creating a new position? No. no. So what is Donovan's position? Donovan is a heavy MEO. All right. Well, we don't want to right? replace. Jerry? Yes, Donovan is a heavy MEO. Because I know that when Jim was here, he wanted everyone to be a heavy MEO. We have some people who are currently light MEOs. Yeah, we have people who are currently a, a light MEO that can definitely move into a heavy position. Yeah. Um, just when we, we brought them in, that's what was available. But so if we did that, then their position would be open. So we really don't. Their position would, would be moving from like an MEO light to an MEO heavy. So now like yeah, that, that, would fill, that, would fill, that would fill Donald's position. So now the new person coming in would fill their position. Which would be an MEO light. Yes. So why do we need to create this position? We're not creating it, we're just going out and approving, approving, recruiting a person, and then once somebody's identified, we'll come back with a name and say, we're going to appoint this person to the position. We're not creating a position. Okay. I should say we're not creating a body, that's a better way to say it. We're not adding staff. We're just shuffling a title just to... Just a motion made? Pardon? Yes. Okay. Is there a second? Yes, okay. Frank and Steve. 
Okay. Uh, any questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. A resolution here to authorize the lease of a portion of the Kingdom Road pump station property, uh, whereas the town of Seneca Falls owns property located on Route 5 and 20, which is partially occupied by the Kingdom Road pump sta station, identified as tax map ID 33-1392. I, I make a motion we uh, talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Motion. motion. For discussion. And can I have a second, please? Second. Thank you. Uh, I sent you folks an email. Uh, a company reached out, uh, Park uh, Advertising, uh, they like the location uh, where the pump station is, if you're familiar with that, the one that's being replaced when we're going out to bid in end of January. Uh, anyway, they would like to put a digital sign uh, on our property. Uh, they, we reviewed a lease that they were suggesting, I had Pat review it. Uh, there's, a, we'll, there's potentially some roadblocks here, uh, but the idea of the resolution, if the roadblocks are overcome, they would lease that property for $12,000 a year and again, bring money into the uh, taxpayer's hands that's just sitting there idle. Uh, there are some restrictions. Uh, they would have to get approval from our zoning board and there is also a stipulation in our, our, our regulations that two billboard, billboards have to be 500 feet away from each other. Uh, and earlier this year, uh, a business uh, on 5 and 20 applied through the zoning board for a billboard, okay? And was granted that. And they have not put this up yet, so whether that's gonna happen or not, but. It would have to be, if that proposed sign that these folks want to put up was mo less than 500 feet away, then they wouldn't be able to put it up there. And then nothing would happen. So Mike, does the sign look like at the end of uh, 318 where it touches 5 and 20? When you come to the end of 318 and touch 5 That's and 20, far. look to the digital right, sign. there's a big, huge... Digital one? Big one. It must be 30 feet high. I, I don't know. It's they would have to meet all the re requirements. That's, that's, right. a, that's, a bill, that's a bill board and that's the document. Uh, this uh, proposed lease didn't come with a site plan and, and any kind of plans of what the size would look so like. We, we right know very right. little about it, right? Right now we know very little about it. So shouldn't we, should this go through planning first and zoning and all that and then to see if they, it gets approval and then if it gets approval they come to us to see approve the lease of it? We could, you know, we could send that back oh, to the, more, send it back to the people and say, hey, we need to see plans and, and you're going to have some uh, I mean, I love watching the, the best thing, uh, Osprey. 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 Yeah, the Osprey on there. It just seems like, I don't know, would we going to clutter that whole area up with commercial garbage? There, there is a dilapidated sign on that property because I went there. Yeah. But the only thing I looked at, when I looked at it, there was one of those historical markers there that that wouldn't be interfered with, right? It's further, this proposal is further east of that. Oh, okay. Down the road. All right. Whereabouts is it? I mean, in the, I, the resolution was only, uh, as I said, the resolution was to give the uh, park advertising, you know, uh, an idea that to move forward, they would have support of the town to lease the property. If you're opposed to digital signs, then we just tell them, you know, we're not in favor of leasing our property for signs. I just don't know if it fits Bedford Falls, to be honest with you. I mean, it, it certainly fits Pottersville. Other thoughts? Questions? For $12,000. Why don't we leave it up to the planning and zoning board to come well, back and review it? Right. Review it. I mean, we, we don't have any pictures or anything. We don't know anything. We really got to leave it up to the experts that can advise us. Right. And that's board. the planning and zoning board. Yep. Well, I say we table it and let them work on it and bring a recommendation back. We just don't take any action. On They're the ones who are supposed to be looking out for the community. 
planning board? Well, I mean, the planning board, but it's two separate governing bodies. The planning board says, okay, the sign meets our Correct. regulation, but then this board would have to say, we're going to lease the property. Yeah, no, but the planning board is supposed to have like a plan for the community. Sure. If they don't think it fits in, they should say. Right. That's doesn't. part of our comprehensive plan. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. they're, li they're limited by the laws that you guys have yeah. enacted, you know, one of which being sign law that says they're right. well, separated by by one feet and that part of it. Um, but if they are able to meet the requirements of our code, then, then but well, they still might not recommend that it fits in with the community maybe. You mean if anything it, the <coughs> planning board looks at and yeah. it's positive they gotta approve it? Yeah, yeah. Our code. that's oh, why we code. have the code. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you got to for. They're not just you can't bring your personal preferences into the planning board. Yeah. You got a you got a code book. And you got to meet A, B, C, D. That's it. Go forward. You think the grow station? Not, I don't think the grow station fits our game plan, does it? For wonderful life. The which one? The grow station that's going to be built up here on Overt Street. Uh, probably not. Not probably not. But they went to the planning board and A, B, C, and D and. They met the, there you the, go. The requirements, and there you go. Okay, I have a, a well, motion to table it. Do I have a second for the motion? I second it. Don, thank you. All in favor of table on this until we get uh, some more information. We say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Thank you. Uh, it might be a moot point no matter what, yeah. because based on my 12 inch foot, I think he's. I think it's in the 500 foot. I think it's in the 500 foot. Well, let the planning board worry about it. But again, if the planning board says okay, well, then well, they got to come back well, and then we're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, and maybe the sign folks won't be interested in going to planning. They might say forget it. We're put one. Save everything. Can I ask, where, what are you talking about? Kingdom Road at 318. I'm back. On 5 and 20, okay. Uh, do you know where the new liquor store is on 5 and 20? Yeah. Okay, this could be a Dunkin' Donuts. Right. This would be about 500 feet going west. Right. On that side of the road, on the south side of the road. Mm -hmm. It's called the Kingdom Road Pump Station. Right. right. Because it pumps sewage from the West Seneca area, 318, 414, okay? Where all the political right. signs go. And there's where that's, that's what you're talking about, 318. No, 318. What, what Frank was talking about is there is an electronic sign out on 520, really right across from Vince's Park. Oh, okay. 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 I got confused when you were talking about that. And the, the Kingdom Road pump station is confusing as part of the new sewer yeah. supply. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and they got all kinds of equipment out in front of us right now. Where? The Kingdom Road. Pump station has a lot of equipment out in the front. Well, it has a pump yeah. because the pump that's in there has failed, failed yeah. twice. There's two of them. <coughs> two of them. And it's failed. And we just and bought one two years Right. And when it happens, yeah. the problem. We're going to find out tonight. Yeah, it does. Now, maybe. We've got a six inch trailer. It's right there. Okay. Uh, it's not Huh? It's not very now. <clears throat> sale of town property. Yep. Uh, resolution to sell town owned property references tax max number 16 1 25, where the town of Sunday Falls solicits a request for proposals for the sale of town owned property located. We make a motion and we sell the property. Can I have a second for that, please? Where is it? The 20 uh, acres out. Near California, right? Correct. This is uh, Kids. behind Kids Territory. Behind Kids yeah. Territory. Uh, this is everybody had opportunity to review the RP. Then we did a special board meeting. Uh, we brought in two of the people who uh, on the RFPs. Uh, then we came back, and uh, this is the resolution to move forward. Uh, there's contingencies in this. Uh, one contingency is that uh, the whole entire property is not going to be sold. We're going to second off some uh, to keep for future kids' territory growth. Uh, other contingency, they have to 
provide the financial wherewithal uh, to make sure that they have the capability to do the project uh, that they're proposing. How much are we slicing off for kids' territory growth? I think uh, we talked about an acre of property. So that was just for parking, that's not true. Right, I think that's the only issue that I know of is for parking. Okay, so it's not really kids' territory growth. I just don't want it to be yeah. in the record. That right, yep, 100%. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not supporting this. Um, I saw the proposal. I did not make this a special meeting. I was unfortunately unable to. But I saw the, the folks' proposal, this Lakewood 3. Um, it includes uh, a 50 unit apartment complex with Section 8 uh, apartments in there. I, the number is debatable. I've heard a couple different numbers, but approximately 10 or 20 percent of the apartments would eight. be uh, eight Section units. 8. I didn't like the looks of the single family dwelling home. I thought, personally, I think we should go up. We didn't. We didn't really cast a, a large net to get uh, different uh, proposals. We just advertised in the Finger Lakes Times and put on our website. That was it. Um, and I think in order for, a, you know, if you want a, a developer to come in here really and do something meaningful, I believe we need more single house, uh, single family homes. Um, and uh, I think in order to get uh, attract some developers, you have to cast a wide net. And that includes like going to Syracuse and Rochester where those developers are. They certainly don't read the Finger Lakes Times, so uh, I'm not going to support this. This essentially is the only one we got. So. Well, this is, I mean, there are single family homes that are part of this proposal. There's no family whole strip. I mean, this is strongly supported by Seneca Housing, Generation Bank Menzo Case. I mean, there's been previous meetings about the need for housing within our community. I mean, the Section 8 is either here nor there. I mean, we're not going to discriminate against. You know, income. Well, we have a lot of Section 8 housing in Seneca Falls. I just don't think we need any additional. I just don't think this is the high, the housing proposal that we, this isn't what we need to be putting up. Well, I'm not going to be one to discriminate against those that receive Section no, 8. Not discriminating. There's plenty of opportunities in the Cox building. There's plenty of opportunities at Stanton Meadows. There's mm -hmm. plenty of opportunities at Peter Road. There's plenty of opportunities. There's well, apartment. had you have been here there's for the presentation, plenty of it would have explained how the differences as far as... I think we need... It was a wonderful presentation. I think we need single-family homes. Which is a part of it. Yeah, it's a small part, and, and I didn't... How many, how many homes? Just my, Thir just my 13? opinion. Yeah. 13. Of, of the 50, and there was eight units. There, there's certainly a need for single single homes in this community, uh, but there's been a need for a long one, a long time. And I've never witnessed any developers coming in anymore. Uh, I mean, obviously, places like Kenmore Estates and those areas, Rittmore Lane, uh, you know, people come in and develop it, but that's not happening anymore. Uh, and there's a growing need for people in our community for adequate housing, uh, certainly. Uh, if you look at the numbers, 80% of the people in the medium range spend 80% of their income on rent. And the other 20% is paying for their food and et cetera, et cetera. And I mean, and I think if it's you should talk to anybody in the school district, you talk to anybody in social services, Seneca Housing, uh, it, it's not a good situation for a lot of people who live in Seneca Falls. And I'd also like to point out that this is a reputable company, and they're, they have a complex over in Auburn, they have one up in Rochester. I mean, they're all over. So There's a lot of reputable companies out there. Well, this is and the this only is one, one that, that we've had. That I we think at. it would be an asset. I'm saying that I don't, su I don't so support it. Support I wish you would have been here for the presentation. I think that you would have enjoyed it. Okay. Uh, we have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor of the sale of the property, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Opposed. So carried. Four to one. Uh, town clerk, uh, please, Councilman Churchill voted no. Mm -hmm. So on this uh, matter, this is subject to a permissive referendum, and I had sent over a the notice that can be used to uh, to give notice of this action. So maybe we good with that? Yep, uh, we have a notice for a public notice uh, that Town Clerk Greer will, will advertise for. Uh, I believe it's 45 days. Now. 30. 30. Okay. So nothing will happen officially until that. 
and everybody understands what a permissive referendum is, if a certain percentage of the population sign a petition and present it to the board, then things would come under a different scrutiny. Okay? Can I put that in there, Nikki? Yes, please. Put that in there, please. Okay. Well, it's still on my list. Really? I got it. Oh, you've got it all? Okay. Okay, uh, I have a resolution here to purchase a DRI Prime CD uh, 550S pump and Global Series 6 trailer kit. Where is it? Senate Falls. How many components can we purchase the pump? A second, please. Second. Now, Joe, that means we'll have two brand new pumps, right? Or no? Or just. You mean the six inch trailer pumps? Yeah. Yeah. We just bought one this year. And this pump. Will be able to be heated. <coughs> the pumps we have now, we can't leave out over the winter. Right. So, so we we'll plan on the housing for freeze. Right. So, Steve, that's why we're going to buy one that we can heat. And then when this project's over and we get the Kingdom Pump Station done, we're going to sell our oldest six-inch pump on uh, auctions international. Well, so that's the plan. Is we don't have one <coughs> to keep out there that's heated without right freezing over the winter, and we're running the risk of the pumps falling off again. Well, in the three years I've been on this board, they, I've been told a couple of years ago, I don't know how long ago, that there's a replacement for that pump station that sits over at the sure is. village water right? yep. facility um, on skids waiting to go. Yep. And we can't use that? No. We can't. That's all part no. of the... No, we can't use that for this. Not okay. right now. No, we can't use but that I mean, for that's this. all part of the project. Uh, you know, why the hell we ever bought that whenever we bought it? We didn't buy it. It was given to us by Del Lago. Okay. All right. So that's it. But Kingdom Pump Station was supposed to happen, and uh, so was the line going down wherever it went. Okay. So, so and then a couple of years ago, because there's two pumps in that pump station, correct? Okay. You got a one for <coughs> you got a back, you got, right. you got redundancy. Yeah. Um, one one blew off completely, and the other one was half off to cause of the problem. And we don't know what's wrong down there. And we just replaced one of those pumps within the yep. last couple of years. Sure did. So, what's the warranty period on those? Six months? The pumps didn't fail, it's the brackets holding them, I believe. It's got nothing to do with the pumps themselves. So, why don't we fix the brackets? Why are well, we I think I, I explained it in the memo we gave to Mike, I think we share it with but uh, we, we, we are not equipped to fix the brackets. The, 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 the station or the the hole is over 20 feet long. Uh, we would have to bring us a, a private contractor to go in uh, to repair. And the cost of something like that, if you weigh it against purchasing a new pump for $49,000, it's really, you know. So essentially, we're just going to be buying. We're we're going to be sticking an external pump down into that pit. Yes. To collect as a backup. Pump it up. And so and we hopefully can hopefully only the pump station gets done hopefully next year. And then we could just put that back into our stock and sell the other pump on international. So on. How, how long a period? As soon as, uh, Six months or so. As soon as we can get the Kingdom Road station done. Wait for that project. Can you rent a pump for a few hundred bucks a month? It was 2,700 bucks a month. I believe I gave the whole. It would cost $1,700 $1, uh, a year. No, a month, a month, I believe. No. $1,700, you said. More like $17,000. $17,000. 17000 For the year. Did I say 100 Yeah. Seventeen. So renting is basically throwing away the money, fixing the station the way it is is throwing away the money. At least this pump will have when the project is done. And we can't use we can't use the six inch pump in the winter that we have. So if we need that we can't leave it out there like that. Exposed. We can in an emergency we'll run it down there. But the last time this just happened there was a spill all over the ground. So this is to avoid that situation. This is going to be set there waiting. Just set there. We heat over the winter. And we've, we've established over years, not, not only this board, but other boards, uh, equipment reserves for things of these purchases. So it's not like an increase in anybody's taxes, the money is there. And there's I like can share that number with you more, Steve, that right. uh, breaks it all down. Any other questions or discussion? 
So when we, when we put that new pump, is that pump going to sit on the outside, Joe? You're not going to put it on the brackets, right? No, it's going to be outside. It's outside. The okay. It's a trailer. So we don't pump, have to worry about a fall trailer. trailer. Right. It's essentially going to replace the one that's sitting right. there now. Right. It's, okay. trailer. it's going to freak. Except this is heated. Yeah, this is heated. Be. Okay. All in favor of purchasing the pump, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. Opposed. I'm sorry. Opposed. Took me side opposed. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I just, I just think there's a better way than fifty thousand dollars. Okay, I have a resolution to provide certain financial incentives for the current Seneca Falls police officers. Uh, where is the Seneca Falls Police <coughs> Department? I make a motion we apply the incentives of five hundred and a thousand dollars. I have a second. I don't think there was anything over a thousand, was there? Kate? No second. Uh, Frank, or Caitlin shared uh, some information today. There's an email, uh, and Lieutenant Snyder's here. Uh, Sergeant, or excuse me, yeah, uh, Police Chief Pinstra uh, is off for a few days. Uh, he's involved in training for his uh, new position in uh, in Puget County. So, if you have any questions, or uh, Caitlin or Lieutenant Snyder can answer those for you. The, the incentives were 500 and 1,000, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay, that's all. And then a 4% shift differential for or the night shift. Okay. Yes. Is, it, is, it, is that new? Is this new money? I mean, they don't have a shift differential today? They do. No. We don't have a shift differential for night shift. It's the same condition. This will be new. New, but I thought it was improved. There's a shift, I thought there was a shift differential in that contract. No. No. Okay, so this would be. This would be new for the uh, contract. Got it. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, and, and I guess I'm thoroughly confused, right? I mean, we did get this kind of late. That's a lot of information. But uh, is this budgeted? No. Stuff. Not budgeted. So we just went through the budget process, and now that we're getting this thrown at us to give more money to the police department, which. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's justifiable. Yes. There's a lot of information here. But also, uh, the police department is a union. Correct. So, so there, there would be an MOA. Uh, memorandum of understanding. There would be an MOA oh, signed yeah. with the union yeah. in the town. And, and why are, I guess I'm, it's not real clear to me in here why we're doing this. This, this would be for a retaining of our current positions uh, we're in a serious predicament of recruiting and retaining. Yep. Uh, the next resolution will be for recruitment purposes. This is for retaining purposes. Shift differential is quite common among jurisdictions. It's what? Shift di differential is common among police departments. Well, we haven't had it for until this proposal came forward in the town village of Seneca Falls. Right, but I mean, nationwide, there's a huge well, right, crisis we're among. The, we're the small town of I mean, Seneca look at Falls. Waterloo. We just, they they we just gassed an entire overnight funds. shift, and the sheriff's office is not increasing. Okay, but we just went through the budget cycle. This stuff should have I all been in there. You're absolutely correct. We just did that. We did. And now this is being presented tonight. I mean, that's why we're having yeah, a discussion and, about it. And, and again, we got it like yesterday, so. Flexibility. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to support it without okay. the um, we support a lot. discussion. Consideration. Yeah, we just can't keep spending money. Spend, spend, spend. Someday the gravy train's going to end. Just one man's opinion. Sooner than later. <coughs> I vote. Uh, um, any other questions? Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Opposed. Let's carry four to one. There another resolution here to provide certain financial incentives for the hiring by the town of police officers by lateral transfer from other agencies. 
whereas the Santa Claus Police Department has certain vacancies it seeks to fill by lateral transfer to the Department of Police Officers employed by other agencies, uh, whereas the Department believes that such individuals are more likely to become employed by the town. Uh, I make the a motion we uh, go ahead with the incentive. And a second for that, please. I'll second it so we can talk about it. Thank you. I would like to make the proposal that we <coughs> modify the MOA to reflect that, um, and this was in speaking and in agreement um, about after the individual passes the FTO training that they would, I, would receive. Yes, I mean, I'm interrupt you just one second. Yes. So you, you got a mo you got a motion on the floor that's been right. uh, seconded. So you you can make a motion, Caitlin, to make an amendment. Okay. to the resolution, okay? Talk loud enough so I can hear you. I'll make a motion to <laughs> amend yes. the MOA. To do what? Say it again, Mike. What do you want me to do? You need to, you need to make a motion to amend okay. this resolution. I'd like to okay. make a motion to amend this resolution. And you're gonna tell Mrs. Greer what exactly you want in that amendment. Okay. So, within the current MOA, it would reflect that the ten thousand dollars incentive would not would be issued after the approval of the chief of police it's by completing the F FTO yes, training. Yes, completed uh, the field training period that's going to be determined by the chief instead of after it's, the instead of after the first payday. Payday. Right. Okay. So, can I have a second for the amendment to the resolution? All right. I second. You second that. Okay. Further question. So, so everyone understands there's uh, laterals because, again, trying to retain police officers is becoming very difficult. Maybe you got to vote on an amendment first before you Well, discuss we're discussing the amendment, right? Or no? It doesn't sound like we're discussing the amendment. <coughs> well, I just wanted to explain this is the $20,000 in the original resolution. Ten would go up front, and then ten would come later on. That's that's what's the amendment. That's what the amendment. Is. Sorry. So, okay. Okay. All in favor of amending the resolution, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Opposed. Opposed. That's carried four to one on the amendment. Now we have a motion and an amendment and a second to the resolution is amended. Uh, Caitlin or Lieutenant, do you want to give folks a background of what's going on or something? Please do now. We went with uh, what, what Frank was talking about with the civil service test, which is not going to be given until September of 23, which means we probably will not get a, a test scores back until, fingers crossed, the end of 23, but I'm thinking it's going to be more like beginning of 2024. Um, currently, right now, I haven't seen a paperwork that Frank was speaking to about the civil service. Uh, it's my understanding that uh, there's two of those individuals that are already been spoken for from the sheriff's department, and we've already spoken for two of those uh, individuals as well that have not been offered uh, employment yet, but have accepted the uh, tender letter to sign on with us, uh, which is going to put us in a situation next year with retirements uh, that we will not have anybody to take off the civil service list for a whole year. And we, uh, you mentioned we have an upcoming retirement in June as well. Yes, and we, we've got the one position that's open for the narcotics position as well as of right now, and that's not saying if anybody else retires or decides to lateral to another department. Um, other but, departments are now starting to offer the incentive as well, and that's why people move around quite a bit. So. And we're using budgeted funds, yes. so this isn't coming out of well, I think like you said, and like Frank said, it costs more money to send a new recruit to the academy than this would cost. That's true. Further discussion? Question? Just oh, that ultimately yeah. this, the, uh, the memorandum of our understanding would need to be, with the amendment, with the amendment, would also need to be approved by the union. Correct. So just uh, the resolution has been approved by the union, but we'd have to be right. right they would have to approve yes. it. Yeah. Okay, so I do have a question. Let me go after that. Okay, so I have the contract. 
All right, so a person comes in from Schenectady that's, first of all, they've got to be off probation in order to transfer. They have to be a permanent competitive police officer to transfer. So, like, so, so some man or woman comes here, has been a cop in Schenectady for five years, comes here. Where, where are we putting them on the 2022 salary schedule? There's one, two, three, four, five different salaries here. So Which one be, are we picking? That would be based on experience of the officer coming in. Uh, obviously, we're not going to bring the officer in at top pay. Um, so I would say that it would probably fall between maybe the three and the four. So don't you think in the uh, agreement we ought to spell that out instead of be arbitrary and capricious about it? you know, what the person is going to get. If they've got one to four years experience, maybe they'll start at two. If they got four years, <coughs> eight years experience, maybe they'll start at three. If they got more than ten, maybe they'll start at four, but nobody is going to start at five. You know, because just leaving it up to one person is it's it crazy would, It wouldn't be me. left up to one person, it would be left to five board members to make that decision. The, the Chief of Police would send to the board a recommendation for the person being hired and their salary. Uh, that's all I'm saying. I think that's a good guideline, though. I, yeah. I, 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 don't, I have no problem with that kind of a guidance. Thinking that way, yeah, right? Absolutely. Further discussion? So, Caitlin, are you going to uh, d write something up like that? or? Or do we have to do a... Uh, if you want to add that to this resolution, now you need a second amendment to the resolution. From what Frank just said? You want to make it? Yes. You, okay. you want to make it a... <clears throat> All right, let me just write it here. Hold it up right Ultimately, maybe it would be up to the town board to set. You know, if I came in and said that this is a crucial one to five, the town board could say, well, we fit underneath what we decided no, absolutely. I mean, that would be the, uh, that's ultimately the town board's decision as to what the salary would be. Unless you bind it to the contract. I'm sorry? Unless Long you bind it in the contract. Right. Cool. You got your glass tonight. Go ahead. No, I mean, okay. All right. So I, I, I make a proposal that if we. Uh, you want to make You're making an amendment to the. the right. Make an okay. amendment to the. Okay. Yeah. If did we you do. Vote on, you voted on the amendment. Did you vote on the whole thing already? No, no. no, we have not voted on the overall proposal. Okay. So because, I mean, they are two separate things. You don't need to make this, uh, and you can. You can oh. include it all together, or you can do the one with Caitlin's we'll amendment. Right now, and then and another then, resolution. And then do another resolution to say of how you want to slot people okay. when they when they come in, just to keep things simple. simple. Please. Be less, less complicated, that's for sure. And you don't need to do Thank that. You, you, could right. Right. you could take the right. time and write it up. Right. Thank you. That's so why you can pay the big bucks. That's right. Instead of amending this, right here. Okay, uh, so based on the attorney's recommendation, uh, we have a, a RFP, cross out the Second Thank Amendment, okay, Nikki? Uh, we have a proposal, uh, we have it amended. Uh, all in favor of the amended resolution, please say aye. Uh, Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Opposed. That's carried four to one. Please note, Councilman Churchill. And then you can, I think that's a very good idea. We'll, we'll get a resolution together okay. with that breakdown of uh, so forth, okay? okay? You know, the only reason I propose that is maybe the morale isn't that hot in the police department. I don't know. I don't work there. But let's say, let's say it is good, and then all of a sudden we bring some person in making more money than somebody that's been working there for six years. You know what I'm saying? That's all. All right. Uh, can I have a motion to accept the resignation of uh, Principal Account Clerk Sarah Wright? I make a motion we accept Thank you. that. A second, please. I'm sorry. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Again, we wish Sarah the best of luck in her new professional endeavors. Uh, is there any other new business for this board tonight? Oh, I have something. I'm going to have a pain in the neck tonight. Just to say, I read the Heritage Preservation Commission meeting minute, and I'm not trying to run that place, but 
You know, 216 Fall Street, this, I went and looked at 216 Fall Street. Parked in the old nice and easy, took a stroll over there. The house has got at least four boarded up windows. One window is boarded with plywood. The other three windows are boarded with some kind of aluminum foil over foam rubber or something with a big ribbon, black ribbon on it. It looks like a disaster. This would be the property that uh, town board member uh, Senecope is referring to that the Heritage Commission would not give them a permit uh, to put in windows into this structure. If a person renovate or bought the house, wants to do renovations, uh, he has young kids and a dog. He wants certain windows. At this point, it's gotten denied by the uh, Heritage Board, which is, again, I understand your concern. I have a lot of issues with, but that's not for this board to take action on. There's an appeal process in place. Uh, if it gets rejected by the Heritage, it can go to planning and then <coughs> planning, right? So it's a, it's a appealed from the HPC to the Zone Board of Appeals. Okay. The only thing is, you know, this gentleman is concerned that the windows go right to the floor, three inches above the floor. He has small kids, and if they're playing, he's worried they fall out the second story window. I don't blame the guy. He wants to raise the windows two feet windows or three right feet. To the, windows right to the floor is a historic architectural feature. Of hey, you know what? I went to that house. I'm not a historian. The only okay. thing I could find historic about that is the lattice work on the porch, which has fallen down. Okay. Well, Places with very poor be. condition. And the other, the other, uh, maybe it was taken care of. The people. other control the, the, the town board has over this is the town board makes the appointments. Yeah. On a rotating basis. I, I uh, this is new business, right? Yeah. Um, driving mm -hmm. over here. Downtown looks awesome. I'd like a little shout out. I read that in Missy's report that uh, Margaret Panucci mugs redid and with the highway department the uh, the re re relit them and uh, put new bows on. They really do look a whole lot nicer. Downtown looks wonderful, but I was wondering if there's an opportunity for us to expand some of that the decorations. You know, coming across the bridge, we got the angels that are so. Dimly lit, you can barely you wanna, see you it. You want to come up to Ritmer Lane? I was getting there, but yeah. <laughs> it's uh, ironic that you say that. Uh, we we had a highway uh, department meeting, uh, committee meeting, uh, and Peter was there. And uh, I've asked Peter to start looking into uh, costs of more decorations going down State the Street. Third Step, board. Third board. Right. Yeah. Uh, even on the other side of the bridge, we have. Yep. We have the uh, the old style lighting. There's no reason you couldn't put yeah. some. Absolutely. Yeah, but I mean, it's a wonderful life here. Yeah. Bedford Falls. We should make it look like it. Right. Yeah. The I angels are dim. Why are they dim? Like they're old. Yeah, well, that, yeah. It's not that they're dim. It's that some of us where the bulb, like the actual strand of bulbs, is sitting on that metal bracket. Yeah. If you're driving from facing the wrong way, yes. If you're yeah. driving from the north to the south, the bulbs might be on the south side, and you're just seeing what's shining around that bar. It's it's just where they lay. It's we're, we're going to be looking into uh, before budget season 2023, uh, doing some doing some work. Well, there's, if there's money laying around, I say we get prepared for 2023. Yeah, you're right. It seems like we always have money laying around for pumps and this and that. Okay, well, agreed. All right, any other new business for this board? Uh, we have a motion. Yeah, water 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 water. Water. Uh, can I have a motion to pay the bills, please? All in favor of paying the bills, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Can I have a motion to adjourn, please? Make a motion. Make a motion. Second. All in favor of adjourn. Merry Christmas. All in favor of the journey, please say aye. Aye. Merry Christmas. Four men down. What's that? Steve. Yeah. Steve. Hey, Mike, are you open now? Okay. January, anything like that? January. Yeah. 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 Ye